The Mini Splatling, a splatling with a quick charge time, decent range, and also a weapon complete with lightweight mobility, so you can move around very fast with this weapon. It has two alternate kits, one with a more offensive mindset and one with a more defensive mindset, and these two weapons have shown to have great potential in them. You'll see what I mean in this video. And consider subscribing, it always helps out. Hope you enjoy the video. <sighs> All right, time to test the mini splatling. Now, before recording this video, I went to the randomizer to pick the next weapon, and it was the Zinc Mini Splatling. So, that will be the main weapon we'll be testing. And with the standard spl Mini Splatling being the secondary. Alright, well, let's go and find the gear for this. Alright, so, just picked out the gear for this, and... This is mainly when I know when run speed up comes in. So I have run speed, I got run speed, ink saver sub, and swim speed up. So hopefully, hopefully this will be a good combination. Now I have little to no knowledge on how to properly use a splat link. So I can already tell this is going to feel a little scuffed. Mm, so quick charge, decent range. Hard to say how this will blend in with Toxic Mist and Big Bubbler. This will be interesting because I because I barely use weapons that have Big Bubbler on it. <laughs> so there's probably a good chance where I'll just use a Big Bubbler. <laughs> probably not probably not the best way. <laughs> All right, let's get started with this. <gasps> oh my gosh, there's a new player. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you, that's rare to see these days. Hmm. Oh my. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure, like, what's, like, the right idea. Well, like, with the mini splat link. Is it just meant to be, like, aggressive? Or, I guess, maybe middle line? Right? Just, like, not too aggressive, but not too passive. Dead. <laughs> right. Okay, okay, I gotta remember. <laughs> Strafing is not the way to go with this. Just ignore that. Just ignore that. Right. Oh no, it's not that bad. Not bad. <laughs> My shooter brain is just going off with that with that game. So obviously, I'm so used to strafing. So it's just or just sub strafing, because mainly just shoot and then swim and then sh immediately shoot again. So that felt so that felt a bit off. Got to learn the length of that fire rate. It's like how long will it go until I gotta fire it up again? And I gotta and I gotta remember. Like, ink like I usually do, and then when a battle comes, I feel like the best thing I to do is set yourself up, set yourself up, and then get ready to fire. So I feel like, basically, don't really improvise, guys, like I usually, like how I, like I would usually do. Hello. Bye, have a great time. Ah, okay, I guess I gotta be really aware of my surroundings. I guess more aware than I already am. Okay. Hey, there we go.
Oh my gosh, let me give. Why do, why do players do that? Happy! All right. Why do players do that? <laughs> Relatively quiet over here. Barely did much in the, barely did much in this game just because like no one wanted to fight. They just wanted to go in everyone's base and then just do what they do. As I'm starting to see the, honestly the two turf wars that I mainly do, it's mainly just uh just to sit, get a simple feel for the weapon. But now for the real test, how good is this in anarchy? Oh man, it splats us. Oh, sc <laughs> uh, why is Scorch Gorge here? All right. So, three matches with this, with the Zinc, with the Zinc in Mini Splatling, and also two Anarchy Opens with the uh, Standard Splat, uh, Mini Splatling. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. But I gotta say, early looks on this, I'm kinda liking this weapon. Positioning is, a ri is still kinda weird. Usually Splatlings are just meant to be backlines, at least with the heavy Splatling in the Hydra. I have yet to know how it really goes for the Nautilus, and... But I guess this is supposed to be an aggressive splatling, but I don't know, it's a bit hard. Trade. <laughs> Think my lack of uh, usually I would like to have Ink Saber me on stuff like this, but uh, having a lack of that is really hurting me right now. Cool. Let's see how far this goes. Alright, relatively far. Nice. Ah, oh, Nautilus. Ugh. I'm, I'm surprised this is as competitive as it is. Usually, usually Scorch Gorge, Splat Zones is just, uh, it feels one-sided every time I play it. That was pretty good. <laughs> that was pretty good. Let's go. Charged up at me. <laughs> he charged up at me and ink jetted. <laughs> is that a, is that a viable approach? I I don't even know. <laughs> oh, I like how well this aims. Intensify action. As far as I know, does. Yeah, this. <laughs> this splatling. Yeah, this splatling barely needs to aim. Or, or I mean, like, it doesn't. Yeah, like, it doesn't need any, uh. <laughs> any intensify. Most of. Yeah, most of this aim is precise. <laughs> okay, I'm thinking. I'm having more optimism with this weapon. But. There is a looming question. Can this do well against shooters. <laughs> Give me a shooter. Give me a shooter. Ask and you shall receive. Oh, and it's a DC and... Uh, why do you do this to me? Why 
do you do this to me, Gabe? Ah, <laughs> uh, you just give me, you just, you give me what I ask. I wanted some shooters for once, <laughs> and then you just DC like that. <sighs> Why do you taunt me like that? I'm sensing shooters on the other side. Uh I'm a little nervous with this with this combination. I'm a little nervous. <laughs> That's ridiculous. What is what is this? Yeah, two way breakers and a suction bomb. That's <laughs> Actually no. <laughs> Oh my god, there's three wave breakers on here. Oh my gosh. That feels annoying. It's completely annoying. I hate that. I can reach? Wave breaker. Again. Ugh. I had nothing to say to that. I didn't even know I could I didn't even see that coming. I'm probably gonna die. I almost had that. I almost had that junior. I almost had that spider shot junior. What is this? What is this battle? This just. <laughs> almost had that again. Dang. Cool. Don't you shoot me. <laughs> Leave me alone. Holding it, keep holding it, please. <laughs> please keep holding it. Shoot. Ah, these wave breakers are so annoying. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes, sometimes this feels a bit unfair with the with the way that E leader shoots. <laughs> I don't know if I, I don't know how I should feel. Should I feel like <laughs> should I feel confident that like it can handle shooters moder moderately well, or should I just feel like a bit concerned that uh, <laughs> like <laughs> it obviously just can't well it just didn't handle snipers well in that game. And again, it's Scorch Gorge, and and that always benefits <laughs> Chargers. <laughs> oh god damn it! I hate I hate e leaders. I hate them so bad. All right. Third match. <laughs> huh, finally. It's not Scorch Gorge, it's a good it's a good stage. <laughs> mm, I'm invested in this. Please don't DC. <laughs> Please don't DC in the first minute. This holds up very well defensively. At least on this stage. <laughs> I see you sharking. Nice. <laughs> Let's go. I guess when I guess when you're able to take a zone, this can hold well, hold well uh, defensively. Okay. Uh, as it looks from the zinc mini splatling, 
This was a... Yeah, who am I kidding? This is a... Yeah, I'm liking this. I actually like this. I did believe that this was a good combination, but, uh... I mean, I was hesitant because, like, I didn't really see, like, at the time with, uh... Just wondering how Toxic Mist was gonna work with it. I mean, I already saw the benefits with Big Bubbler, but... Toxic Mist was the was the one that I have, was having questions with. But now, but in that game, okay, I can see benefits with it. I can see benefits with it now. All right, let's see how the standard mini splatling goes. It's got Burst Bomb and Ultra Stamp. And all right, let's get started. All right, I can already tell with Burst Bomb and Ultra Stamp, this is a weapon that's gonna call for a bit more aggression. Pretty much exchanging that that defensive power with the bubbler. It's now calling for more offense with the with the standard mini, mini splat link. Alright, hopefully, hopefully this goes well. Okay. Cool. Dually. Okay. <laughs> Uh, there's a little bit of lag. I'm not optimistic about that. Doolies, doolies, doolies. <laughs> okay. Why are y'all dying? Why are y'all dying like this? <laughs> Duelies. Okay. <laughs> Alright, I, I get it. Okay, can't, uh, can't leave that Tetra Dooley alone. Mustn't leave him alone. Oh, almost at him. No, no. You are kidding me. Oh. Guys, you gotta go in. And your close range weapons, you gotta we really need to go in. Oh my gosh. That was so winnable. That was so winnable. Alright, I really want to get a win with this. I really do. Because uh, there were because there are a lot of good moments and good opportunities with with this weapon. Just didn't just, just couldn't really convert on them as well as I'd wish. Let's hope this. I want to do. I want to do well in this match. Please get the last one. Please get that last one. Thank you. Let's go. Alright. That's cool. That's cool. Flanking. Someone's flanking. 
Thank you. What the heck? This does so good. This does so good against shooters. <laughs> At least the standard mini swelling does. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that was so good. Man, it's got a got the burst bomb. Especially with that buff <laughs> from the ultra stamp. Oh gosh, it makes it so good. 11 of 4. Really nice. Alright, um, now for my final thoughts on this weapon. Oh gosh, that was, that was insanely fun. That was insanely fun. Some of it got a bit stained with that Scorch Gorge <laughs> gameplay. Smithy just because that, that stage is just terrible with zones. But other than that, oh my gosh, this, this weapon is, oh, this weapon is really nice. This weapon is really nice here. Yeah, it's got pretty good fire rate to pretty much counter. Honestly, I'll feel like almost all shooters. I feel like it. I feel like the kill time can be just as fast as most of the shooters. Maybe maybe a bit slower than the 52 gal, but yeah, but it's a 52 gal. Oh, it's <laughs> uh, it's like there are gonna be moments where you're gonna you're gonna miss a, a, some of those shots. And honestly, my personal favorite favorite thing about it, there's two alternate kits that prioritize defense, and there's one that that prioritizes offense so if you want a more offensive game use the standard mini splat link and if you want to go for a bit more passive a little bit more defensive play style like go for the zinc mini spa <laughs> mini splat link oh my gosh this is one of I'll, I'll say this is one of the weapons where i was a bit um hesitant to to touch because it was mainly because well splat links aren't really my and mainly my thing just in general and sim simply because of the the charge it was yeah that was the one thing that was i was basically hesitant on it was just because the charge i, I didn't like really being helpless <laughs> in, in in uh with, with, when i have a weapon on but now that i'm having now that i have a better understanding with this i feel like there's an, that helplessness state that you're put in <laughs> with the with the splatling like it's not much it's not really there if you use it if you use the sub and the special wisely. Now, I'll say, will I add this weapon to my rotation? I genuinely might. I actually genuinely might. I, yeah, honestly, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna do that. I'm, <laughs> I, I'm, I might be using this more, but with the, uh, the splash the, well, let's see. Yeah, but with the splash and and the Neo, and the Stamper, and the Luna Blaster, Maybe the 52 gal. Maybe. I'm starting to have different thoughts about this time. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, pretty much with all those weapons, I'm I'm also I think I'm also gonna be putting these two <laughs> into the rotation. Oh, man, I gotta say. Playing with these weapons, uh this is this has been a joyous time. It's been a joyous time testing all these new weapons. Uh, I'm generally actually getting more invested with more of these <laughs> more of these weapons, so I thought I thought I was just only gonna be using the splash matic for most things and nowadays i'm pretty much using a good amount of these weapons for different things here oh, man this is a this is such a fun game all right that'll be it for this video if you enjoyed hit the like and if you want to tune in to the future weapons that i test uh hit the subscribe button and you can leave a comment i'm always happy to hear feedback and i will see you in the next episode where we try a new weapon see ya